Hello, welcome to the teapot reads. My name is Sam. I'm the teapot. This is what I am currently reading and it's so good. It, it is so good. Uh, you will see, you will see a review for this one. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Welcome to my channel. You're going to notice this video is fairly dark. I am probably talking fairly quietly compared uh, but I wanted to do a little like low-key chill video because this idea like struck me the other day at work and I was like I can just whip this out and do it so that is what we're doing so I subscribe to a lot of book boxes and book subscriptions and I love them and hate them in equal measure because I do love them I love getting the books and I love the pretty customizations but it is expensive and some of the subscriptions I just don't actually want some of these books and that's a problem it's like mindless consumerism to a degree so this year it is something I'm trying to cut back on I am currently or last year I should say I was subscribed to Illumicrate which I can never picture myself unsubscribing from they are my favorite subscription box and I adore them they are just like my favorite I'm a total Illumicrate girly okay fairy loot the regular YA box and the adult book only subscription Goldsboro's sci-fi book club and Goldsboro's premiere book club and owl crate that was last year this year so I actually canceled my owl crate and because I just wasn't happy with the books and then they they announced their February like theme and I was like I want that book so I re-upped it but I am planning to use a bunch of skips for it um, basically as many skips as I can get away with. I don't know their policy, but unless I want the book or something they mentioned in the box, I am just going to plan on skipping months that I have little to no interest in. For Goldsboro, I am seriously considering canceling at least the premiere subscription. They do, when they do literature, I really am interested in those books. When they do mystery and thriller, I just tend to be like, unhaul immediately and it's a fairly expensive thing to just immediately unhaul not really worth it and for fairy loot i am i put my name on the wait list for the ya book only combo with the adult book only subscription which breaks my heart a little but i don't need that much stuff and goldsboro even if i don't cancel it i will probably be using more skips. I used a skip last year near the end of the year and I have zero regrets. I was like, why wasn't I doing this sooner? I did subscribe to another book box. I'm just doing a three month trial. If I'm not into it, then I will cancel it. And I'm basically going to make myself read the books the month they arrive. They're going to become top priority reads because if they're not, it's just going to the wayside. I love collecting books. I do obviously love collecting books and I love having multiple editions and I love looking at them but I'm getting a little tired of having books on my shelves that I'm not super interested in getting to. There's a difference between having a book come into my life that I'm like you know I'm not interested in it right now but I think down the line I'll be interested in it or a book that I'm like, you know, this this didn't catch my eye, but now that I have it, I am interested in it, or it does catch my eye. Uh, as an example, All the Hidden Gifts, this was not a book box book, but this was the one of the pick of the months at Barnes and Noble, and I literally had no interest in it, but I bought it because I was like, you know, the cover's pretty, and the more I've sat on it, the more I'm like, you know, that this could be a hidden gem, and I have no regrets about having it or letting it sit for as long as it needs to sit. I think that it's time is coming and it's not like a book that's at risk of unhauling because I just, I have a feeling I'm really gonna like it. But there are other books I have, uh, which I don't, I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way. I feel like they are at risk of being unhauled. This would be an example that this came in a fairy loot as like the bonus book, which I do think is cool. Um, and I actually have liked some of their bonus books. But this one is just one I have absolutely zero interest in at all. It arrived. I, it, I'm going to be doing an unhaul video soon. And this will probably be in it. I'm just tired. Like this book, I don't need it on my shelf taking up space. And it feels very wasteful. Not just in my life, but environmentally to like have this book. And also someone would probably enjoy it. That isn't me. So 
I don't know. I, I'm just tired of feeling a little wasteful in my like book spending book receiving habits. Not super wasteful that I'm going to cancel my subscriptions because I do tend to like the books but yeah enough that it's something I'm really really looking at this year. No fear I'm not going to just be canceling them <laughs> right off the bat like I said and I really thought it'd be fun to rank these for like my own personal pleasure and also because I'm kind of curious to see how it all like lays out in the end. I got most of these pictures from Goodreads, which whoever is uploading the like alternate covers, thank you. I don't know if that's something that the publisher does or the book boxes do, but thank you. It like, it looks, it's awesome to be able to like actually use those pictures. So let me figure out, not figure out, let me set up screen sharing or um, screen recording. I'm using tearmaker.com as you can see to record this or to, um, I record this but to like rank everything and the tiers that I made are read it and loved it so god tier these are like the books that will never be unhauled never leave my shelves I love them they're precious they will come with me everywhere I probably have a bunch of editions if I could get my hands on them a rank is read it and liked it I don't want it to sound like bad that I liked it like if I liked it it was probably like four stars or higher or it has sat with me really well and I doubt I will get rid of it at any point because my collector's heart is just that kind of way. Rank B is haven't read it, but dying to get to it. So I put this here because I feel like there are a lot of books that I get super excited for, but then I get excited for other new books. So they just kind of push things down, but I don't want to like take from it. Cause one of the big pleasures of book boxes is the collectability of the books and the editions that are coming. So that's rank B. Rank C is read it and it was okay. These tap, these probably are books I will keep for maybe forever. They're definitely not at risk of being getting rid of, but they're not books that I'm like reaching for or probably recommending too much. Rank D is haven't read it and wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. So these are sort of like the hidden gems of the books that come, but I haven't read it. So I can't like guarantee that. Rank E is haven't read it and not a priority. These are books that I just will get to when I get to if I get to them. And then rank F is unhaul potential. These could be books that I read and hate it. The books I have already unhauled for whatever reason or books that arrived and I literally know I don't want it. So first off we have only a monster. Um, this came in two different boxes. Um, so this is the fairy loot cover we're gonna put it haven't read and wouldn't have picked it up otherwise this has been getting a lot of hype I'll put the uh, owl crate there too these have been getting a lot of hype but I honestly outside of like Instagram I haven't seen it anywhere I don't think I've seen anyone at the store like picking it up and buying it I don't think I've really seen any youtubers talking about it I don't really see it on TikTok so I don't know people seem to really like it I'm not like eager for it <sighs> we all fall down that's definitely on haul potential I, this book had a lot of controversy. This was an Illumicrate book. Uh, this book had a lot of controversy. I read it because I just had the copy anyways. It was, outside of even the controversy and the problems in that regard, like the racism and whatnot, it was so bad. I could go on a huge rant for it. It was absolute hot garbage. The edition is pretty. I kind of was keeping the edition just kind of high up. Uh, if you remember my bookshelf tour, it's like in the high, like top of a shelf. I'm probably gonna get rid of it because sure it's pretty but I I was thinking I was like if I move I'm not taking this book with me maybe we'll just get rid of it so unhaul potential <sighs> ballad and dagger and I accidentally put this on there twice so we can ignore one of them um this was an owl crate this is the first YA book in the Rick Riordan presents category thing I have zero interest in this book, but I hate to unhaul it. I'm gonna say haven't read it and not a priority. One of my big goals this year is to consciously and on purpose be reading more black authors. And I believe this is a black author and I wanna support him. And I do like mythology tellings. But I think if I don't get to it like this year or next year, it probably would be unhauled. We have one of your birds. This was a Goldsboro premiere. I think 
this is a literary one I think I'll put haven't read and wouldn't have picked it up otherwise because I might have yeah I probably would have just skipped over this one I'm not like super excited for it but I actually do think I'm gonna read this one this year justice of kings oh man maybe I should have put another <laughs> um ha, I guess you know we'll say haven't read and wouldn't have picked it up otherwise it's not really accurate you know what we're gonna change like the meaning behind haven't read it but dying to get to it it's just gonna be haven't read it but want to get to it soon not necessarily dying to get to it okay just take that um because <laughs> I do want to read the justice of kings book two just came out and I would like to read this before um book three comes out <laughs> see if I actually like it blood scion I am definitely going to put this and haven't read it uh but <laughs> oh I can edit it um but am looking forward to it we'll say that that's a little kinder uh, blood sign I uh, I am actually looking forward to this one it was one that was a little bit on my radar because there were a couple special editions I think Owl Crate did one outside of their subscription and I, I hated the cover at first but I have come to love the cover and it's definitely like gripped me so one dark window I have read this okay it was okay I don't think it's unhauled potential yet. I did not love this book. It was actually quite disappointing, but at the same time, it is a pretty addition. And I'm hoping the sequel makes up for the first one's lacks a little bit. I don't know if it will. I don't know if that's being helpful, but if I don't like the sequel, I will probably unhaul them both. But the aesthetics were good. So I let, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, Age of Ash, kind of the same deal as Justice of Kings. This was a, um a Goldsboro sci-fi I I like Daniel Abraham because he's one of the two co-writers uh under the pen name James S.A. Corey and I love the Expanse books that I've read so yeah we'll say Age of Ash I am kind of curious I think this is the first in a trilogy where every book takes place over like the same period of time but is from a different character's point of view so you kind of get layers of information as the series progresses so I'm interested in that the Leviathan yeah, well, this was another Goldsboro. I think their premiere, haven't read, wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. It's very pretty. Four Treasures of the Sky, kind of the same deal. Premiere, really interested in it though. Ordinary Monsters. Man, I have been wanting to read this book. I found Ark. Um, I have been wanting to read this for a while and I just like haven't picked it up. I think it was on my like excited books of 2022 list at some point and yeah just I think because it's so big I know I have to put a lot of time aside for it and I wanted to make a video dedicated to it like a little mini vlog I don't know if that's gonna happen still but Ordinary Monsters haven't read it but I'm looking forward to it I am actually really excited for this one I hope it does not disappoint me The Cartographers yeah we'll, we'll say haven't read it you're gonna see a lot of books go into this category oh my gosh spells for forgetting on Hall Potential Okay, this book is gorgeous. This book is like one of the prettiest editions I own. It was hot garbage. I was thinking for a while I might keep it and like reread it at some point and see if like I get older, my opinion of it changes. It was so fucking bad. Okay, I just hated it on just about every level. I thought it was just poorly done and it has uh, kind of turned me off of checking out anything else. Adrian Young has Adrian Ron Young, that's her name, right? Um, has written. So I have some of her other books. I will give them a try, but I not soon. I'm not reading them soon, and uh, I'm definitely getting rid of spells for forgetting. I'm gonna try to sell this one on Mercari. I don't know. Ivory Key. I haven't read it. It's not party. This came in Owl Crate and an Aluma Crate as a bonus book. I found like vaguely interesting. City of Last Chances. I am so excited for this one. This was the December pick for Goldsboro Sci-Fi. I was waiting for my copy for like three months. It just, like it just arrived. I am so excited for this one. It's a standalone. I've never read Adrian Tchaikovsky, but the book is gorgeous. It sounds very much up my alley. I like the idea that it's a standalone. I am freaking excited for this book. Okay, I'm very excited. The Luminaries. Again, this came in like two. That's the other problem with book boxes. While there isn't a bunch of overlap, sometimes there is, and I'm just not... I don't always love every edition of the books. There's some books, like when multiple boxes did Atlas 6. Love that, but... 
like outside of that <laughs> like outside of like really exciting books when it's like a lesser known book although I was excited for the luminaries I think the problem was just that I hated the I hate that Owl Cray does like just blue alternative covers like be a little more creative a little more I like when they do like when they do a completely different dust jacket they get really gorgeous artists to do it but I I don't know the luminaries we're, we are gonna say I haven't read it but looking forward to it did you think that was where that was going it was uh, this woven kingdom we're gonna say I haven't read and wouldn't have picked it up otherwise I hated the shatter me books so much I only read the first one though so I don't know if I could say I hated the books but I hated shatter me I read it back when it pretty much first came out I think the second one had come out when I picked it up I thought it was hot garbage um so I was not necessarily looking forward to this woven kingdom but I'm hoping that because there's been so much time between shatter me's initial release and now Tahara Mafi's writing is more acclimated to or at least maybe I'm more acclimated to her writing. I hope it's just been like a growth of writing because there's a lot of potential in Shatter Me. I just was not impressed by any of it at all. So yeah, I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. The Immortality Thief, Unhaul Potential. This was a Goldsboro sci-fi and yeah, not, not interested in the least. It's not my kind of sci-fi. When they do fantasy books, I feel like I'm much more likely to be like, yes, that's amazing that sounds so good right on my alley but when they do sci-fi it tends to be not at all what i like to read <laughs> um kate atkinson shrines of gaiety same category a river enchanted um we'll put this up in i'm looking forward to it because for a while i really was looking forward to it i don't know exactly what triggered me to think i wasn't looking forward to it anymore but I have both of them now. <laughs> Sunk cost fallacy. And yeah, it is another thing. Another reason I really want to change my book buying or my book subscribing habits because I will like invest in like a whole series. And then if I read the first one and didn't like it, I'm sitting on a bunch. So again, want to just be on top of the book box releases so that when it comes time to the, the sequel being released by that book box, I can actually determine whether I want to spend money on it. Daughter of the Moon Goddess, read it and liked it. I really did. It was good. It's not the most intense thing I've ever read or the most complicated or literary. Um, I would not even rate it as like a favorite, but I really did enjoy it. It was really good at what it was doing and I am looking forward to reading the sequel. That will probably happen in the next couple months. I'm super excited for that. Also, it is a gorgeous edition. Violet Made of Thorns. Haven't read it, but I'm looking forward to it. I actually had not heard about this one before both Owl Crate and I want to say Fairy Loot did it. But I don't know. I, it sounds like something I'll like. So excited. Ooh, this next one. Well, let me adjust. Back problems, man. Forgery of Roses. Unhaul Potential. This was one of the worst books I read last year. It, I've said hot garbage like three times already. It was so, so sloppily done. So bad. We're gonna put trust and haven't read and not a priority. It won like the Booker Prize or something. It won some prize. Other, if it hadn't, it probably would have been on Hall Potential. I don't even know what this is about. Bellatona read it and liked it. I did. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. It had a lot of elements I thought I would like, but it started off so very much YA. I don't, I don't love the ending because I was like, I know there's a sequel, so why is like literally everything getting wrapped up? Leave me more threads than the like mic drop at the end. Not, I don't like that kind of like storytelling, especially when you're writing a series. I, <laughs> I'm not going on that rant. I liked a lot of what it was doing. So yeah. Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. I, oh, is it God Tier? <sighs> no, but it's close. That one was good. That was really good. That was fairy loot. So was Daughter of the Moon Goddess. So was Belladonna. Woo. <laughs> okay. Um, Gallant. <sighs> hmm. I read an arc of this book and the farther I get from it, the more or the less well, I should say, it sits with me. It really should have been advertised and sold as a middle grade and not a YA. I think that is one of the problems. I liked it better than One Dark Window, but I don't think I liked it as much as like Belladonna. So the embroidered book, haven't read it. Very much looking forward to it. Atlas Six. Re liked it yeah i think it feels safe there that was the fairy loot book and i think other subscriptions did editions as well i it wasn't what i was expecting but i did like it 
not a favorite red scholars wake so this is the illumicrate december which i still haven't gotten because of shipping problems which i get i'm not angry i'm just frustrated because it's nearing the end of february i just want my book i was really excited for this one too um i am gonna say i'm looking forward to it because i am i am really looking forward to it the book eaters <sighs> I guess I'm looking forward to it. Definitely on the lower end of that scale though. The Drowned Woods. Yeah, I wouldn't have picked this up otherwise. I think two boxes did that. Yes, Owl Crate and Fairy Loot. And I actually, this was one of the few Owl Crates that I like better than the Fairy Loot or like when there's crossover because the reverse art on the dust jacket of Owl Crate is so cute. And there's a Corgi and I'm just really excited. So yeah, I, I'm... I'm interested in it. I'm looking forward to it, but I, it's one of those books I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. Hotel Magnifique. Like, Forgery of Roses was really bad, and I think I read those really close together, which sucks. Um, they've actually both been unhauled, I think, at this point. I got rid of both of them. An Arrow to the Moon. Not a priority. It was a bonus book. I don't care for Romeo and Juliet retellings. I do want to read These Violent Delights, but that has more to do with how popular that series is. I, I was turned off it for a while because I'm not a big Romeo and Juliet fan. The Empty Room. This was a Goldsboro premiere mystery thriller. It's already gone. I've already gotten rid of it. It's goodbye. City of Dusk. I'm looking forward to that one. I, this is another one I had an arc of and just like kept pushing off. Really excited. This is a fairly loot edition. Wild and Wicked Things. I was looking forward to it, but it's become not a priority, actually. Book of Night honestly no i'm not gonna move it to unhaul potential i thought about it but um i want to give it a chance i do i was so excited for this one and then the reviews started coming out and i got less and less excited and and i have a lot of editions of it which i definitely don't need portrait of a thief who would have picked it up otherwise this was an illumicrate pick and this was like wild and out there because this is not the type of genre that they typically choose from but i am really excited and I think the Illumicrate cover change is adorable. Another Book of Night, yeah. Yeah, I put if there are multiples. The Color Bound. <sighs> yeah. Oh, what's this? We're going to close that trailer. Um, how long was that playing? Uh, Color Bound. Um, definitely on Hall Potential. I think I've just seen too many bad reviews for it. Darlings of the Asylum. I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise it might be nearing not a priority but we'll leave it with wouldn't have picked it up otherwise because i don't think it's a danger necessarily of being unhauled bad for good i've already gotten rid of it another premiere yeah, i have to start using my skips more uh stardust thief i am looking forward to it it sounds a little bit like it might be david bod ripoff slightly but that's okay i love david bod Hopefully like Stardust Thief. The Ones We Burn. Oh yeah, this was a fairy loot. Or was it a Lumar Cray? No, this was fairy loot. This was their November pick in 2022. And I, it's had a lot of controversy. I don't know if I was interested in it before that. We're gonna say not a priority. I don't think it's quite on hold potential yet. I feel like when I get books that are controversial, especially if it's in a subscription box, I may as well read them so that I can speak on them from like a place of authority. And that like I've read it and I'm not just like talking about or like repeating what other people have said. Like if it's landed in my lap, I'm going to read it. I didn't go out of my way to get it. Like I don't feel like I'm like seeking these out. So not a priority, but not quite on home. Burn. There's a full title. Together we burn, I think. I wouldn't have picked this up otherwise. This is an owl crate and it's very pretty. Nothing has made it a god tier. I know at least one book is going to. That'd be funny. I didn't, I did not actually think this through too much, but that might be the only book. Because I, I, I made the tier with that book in mind. <laughs> so, uh, Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I would not have picked this up otherwise. I am looking forward to it, but I don't think it's going to happen this year. Second Sight of Zachary Cloudsley. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the same category. Final Strive. I'm super looking forward to this one. And the Goldsboro edition is gorgeous. I hope they do a matching one for, I think the second one is called The Battle Drum. Lost some time. I haven't gotten rid of it yet, but I am looking forward to it. Same with this one, Truly, Madly, Deeply. Suspicious Grace super looking forward to this one so so excited twin crowns yes this was a bonus book in a fairy loop undertaking of heart and mercy so i would not have picked this up otherwise but it's come to a place where i am 
I'm very excited to read this one. And I think I'm going to read it this month. Finally made of thorns. What's here? Here we go. Uh, the Darkening. Did I do that one? Because I think two people did The Darkening. I don't think I did. I would not have picked this one up otherwise. I literally don't know what it is about. Silver Under Nightfall. This is my god tier book. This was a Goldsboro sci-fi book. And had this not been one of their books, I probably would be seriously considering unsubscribing from them. But Silver Under Nightfall has become not just one of my favorite books and my favorite book of last year, but it has become a book I constantly pick up and always considering rereading. Will sometimes just like think about for like hours. I fucking loved this book. Okay. Silver and a Nightfall. It is amazing. It is the best thing I read last year. And I read Gideon the Ninth last year. It's so freaking good. Okay. So Babel. Read it and liked it. Yeah. The Drowned Woods. That one. Where did I put it earlier? I think I put it. Uh, yes. Here. Wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. Another copy of Babel because everyone did Babel. <laughs> Mindwalker. I'm going to put this in haven't, wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. I think I will read it this year because Samantha Shannon keeps talking about it and talking it up. And there's another Goldsboro sci-fi fantasy book. I loved Silver Under Nightfall and that was like a total whim to pick that up. So I'm hoping for good things with Mindwalker. The Depths. This book. This book. Okay. I haven't read it. <sighs> I haven't would have picked it up otherwise I hate this cover I hate it so much and I don't I'm not interested in the description but I read the first sentence and I was like hooked and I think the first sentence is there's a video of me dying on the internet and I cannot stop watching and it like it's the most like it's grabbed me so I would have picked it up otherwise oh okay so we have the whispering dark there are two editions of The Whispering Dark on this list. There's this one, The Owl Crate, which is on haul potential because it is ugly. And then there's a little more crate, which is here. Wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. Owl Crate's just an ugly edition. Okay. Poster Girl, on haul potential. I'm not a big Veronica Croft fan. I read Divergent when it was popular. I loved it. And I loved Insurgent. And I hated Allegiant. And I was like, okay, let me reread Divergent just like couple years later see if I can rekindle at least the motions from that book and I hated it I could not I could not reread it and it wasn't because of Legion it was because I just I was like wow why did I like this book so bad Dowry of Blood it was okay the poison season put that on there twice I am really looking forward to it I actually okay funny story about that <laughs> funny story I had canceled my owl crate and it ended in November and then I realized that the December book was going to be poison season and I liked the artist they announced for their alternative dust jacket and they said they were keeping the Charlie Bowater co cover art on the hard case and so I couldn't not re-up my subscription just for that month no regrets it was a great box actually the luminaries yeah this is um here that's the uh illuminate edition <gasps> there's another book going on god tier Emily Wilde okay hold on let me there we go this was the December Fairyloot adult book. It was so good. I keep recommending it to people and I just, I was obsessed with it while I was reading it. It is so cute. It is like cozy fantasy, but it's also, I would say more mm, quirky than cozies sometimes get. I loved it. Five out of five, easy. I like was obsessed. I only wanted to be reading it when I was reading it. And then finally, Cruel Illusions. Haven't read it and not a party. There's parts of the description, like the vampire part, that interests me, and the circus part, but the combination of them does not make it super interesting. So, so that's it. That's everything. Wow, I thought there would be more, but that's everything, I guess. I'm not going to count, but it, it probably is. I, I know I took, I transferred the pictures correctly. So, okay, I want to like, let's take a minute to like analyze. Mostly I haven't read the books, so need to work on that. Like I said, God tier comes from Goldsboro and Fairy Loot, and read it and liked it comes from 
Five of these were fairy loot picks and one was a Lumicrate. But I swear I like a Lumicrate. They're my favorite book box. <laughs> Do you believe me? Haven't read but looking forward to it. On this list, the one I'm probably most excited to get to, Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. Read it and it was okay. Okay though, two of these were fairy loots as well. I think I've just read more fairy loots from last year than Lumicrates, I think is the problem. And Gallant, I read because I got an ARC haven't read and wouldn't have picked it up otherwise i do think it's nice to see so many books on this list that i wouldn't have picked it up otherwise because it's one of the reasons i like to subscribe is sometimes i get books on my radar that i just wasn't interested in uh like especially the depths only a monster this woman kingdom her majesty's royal coven mind walker like i wouldn't have picked up any of these books but i'm sure there's a couple in here that i will love and really like you know i wouldn't have picked up silver under knife ball if it hadn't been in a book box and that book has literally changed my brain chemistry and I would have picked up Emily Wilde that I would have because it was a hundred percent in my radar um haven't read not a priority oh Holly Black um yeah, yeah. and unhaul potential that's a lot to unhaul that is 12 books that is a whole year subscription more or less so and I think let's see I could I wouldn't have skipped we all fall down I wouldn't have skipped spells for forgetting because I was looking forward to that one. Collarbound, I was willing to try. It was the reviews. Mortality Thief, I probably should have skipped. And then Forger of Roses, Hotel Magnific Magnifique, and then the ugly edition of The Whispering Dark. I just don't love Owl Crates editions. Uh, the Empty Room, Bad for Good. I should have skipped those, but you only have like three skips. Um, And I probably should have skipped Poster Girl, to be honest. I just hate skipping a fairy loot. I hope this was interesting. It was fun to do. It was great talking to you guys again. I um, am working on getting back out there with the posting and the videos and all that good stuff. But I am going to basically call a night, maybe play a little bit of video games, maybe do a little reading. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you've subscribed. Thank you for being a subscriber. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Normally, when I'm healthier, I post tw once a week regularly and sometimes twice a week. I'd love to see you. Thank you for being here. I hope you're doing well. If you're somewhere cold, I hope you're staying warm. If you're somewhere warm, I hope you're staying comfortable. Most of all, I hope you're reading a good book. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.